Good morning, everybody. Dashing Ding coming at you with another day of DoorDash. All right. I have made a decision that I am going to wait until tomorrow to turn Spark on for a couple of reasons. One, I've got my W-2 this afternoon, so I don't have a lot of time this morning. But number two, <laughs> as you can see, it's nice and bright out here. I slept in a little bit, so I'm only going to get a couple of hours of DoorDash in before I have to go home and make this video. So, I've got the DoorDash app on. Pretty slow right now. It is currently 7.58. I've had the app on for a couple of minutes, but we're just rolling into the south end of town. Got my coffee. And uh, I, think I, I think I brought everything. I got my wallet, so got our red card and all that stuff but I don't even think I'm gonna turn on Instacart we did not get one single Instacart offer yesterday that whole entire time I mean we were out for about three hours and it was like crickets it even asked me once are you still online well yeah I'm online you're just not sending me any orders <laughs> so hopefully Walmart spark is a little bit better the other thing I was gonna mention is I finally made an appointment to get my hairs cut. I'll be going at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon to a town about 30 miles south of us and getting my hair cut because we don't have a barber in Bemidji anymore. All the barbers in town, which there was four of them, have passed away. So I'm heading to a little town called Walker, Minnesota, and I'm gonna go get my haircut down there because I've had a flat top pretty much my entire life and unfortunately all the hair salons in my town nobody knows how to do a flat top so I'm heading to a barber but let's see what the app does hopefully we can get an order while we're on the south end of town we'll see you guys when we do all right we got our first order just as we were coming past McDonald's we got a 569 to go 2 point some miles. It was a high pay offer, so. Um, but it was 569 to go 2 point something miles. 2.2 maybe. From McDonald's on the south end. So let's go in, get this order, and um, get this day started. Order for Spencer? All right. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Have a much. great day. You too. All right, everyone. We just got an offer of $6 plus to go, I think it was like 1.4 miles from Starbucks. We're going to go grab that. I did turn Spark on. I wanted to see what was out there, and there are some amazing offers. Um, there was a $42 to make three drop-offs curbside pickup. There was a $36 for two drop-offs curbside pickup. And I didn't take them because I'm just kind of, I, I want to kind of see what's, what's out there. But I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not. I mean, I think I easily could have gotten them done at a decent time. So... Captain. Incoming message. <laughs> the offers are still coming in on Spark. <laughs> I think I'm going to do very well with Spark in my area. I just, um, I got to get into it and do it. So I'm going to shut it off for the rest of today just due to the fact that I'm not ready for it. 
with my vehicle and everything. So let's go in and get this Starbucks. Thank you. Good morning. I'm an order for Emma. Thank you. You're welcome. I just gotta take a quick photo, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I right, thank you. Yeah. All right, everyone, I turned Spark back on because DoorDash is dead, and I just accepted a shopping offer. I'm shopping for one person. It's $23.18 to go 2.7 miles, and it's like 10 items. So let's go get this and do our first Spark order. Chuck gave me a couple of hints last night when it comes to looking at offers. Now I just need to figure out how to uh, work the store. So, <laughs> all right, you guys are gonna be coming with me. So let's go check it out. You guys, this is four items. Bread, milk, mayonnaise, and lunch meat. Somebody's packing a lunch. <laughs> Chris, I'm in the middle of an order, but you have a good one, man. Yeah, yep, we'll talk to you later. Oh, section 400. They've got them in the wrong spot. Well, I just accepted another spark offer. This time, it's a curbside pickup. Um, it says a 9.15 a.m. curbside pickup. And it's 9.11, so I got four minutes to get there, which I'm not that far away, so. And the last one, it only had me shop for four items, the milk, the bread, the Miracle Whip, and the meat. And each one of them said one, but when I went to drop it off, it said five items, eight quantities. So I hope there's not some kind of an issue there. But this one's a curbside pickup, so I'll have to get with my buddy Chuck and see, uh, see why it says that or why it didn't... Uh, go to pick up two or three or whatever so all right here we go to walmart <laughs> my first day doing spark so oh, yeah. <laughs> i just did a shopping one now i'm doing a pickup yeah Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, 
Okay, we did our first Walmart pickup. Dude was out right away, man. That's awesome. Um, it's a cold day today too. Like the wind is coming out of the Northwest and it's like, it's cold. So this is pretty cool. Um, and he was telling me, I don't know if you guys heard the conversation, but he's like, I said, yeah, this is my first day doing Spark. I said, I did a shopping one earlier. Now I'm doing a pickup and he goes, yeah. He said, the pickups are really nice too. Then he was asking me what I made and stuff. And I'm like, well, I said, on this one, I'm making like 26 bucks. So, <laughs> and it, everything fit in the catering bag. I mean, it's not a huge order. So, all right, let's go get this uh, delivered to Joan, I believe. By the way, a couple of quick notes. Um, earlier, that DoorDash order that we had, that we took the um, Starbucks over, that went from $6 to $6.50. And then the very first DoorDash that we did, that we dropped off at the downtown um, business office, that customer added a $2 extra tip to that order. So a couple of decent uh, DoorDash orders today and I, we're gonna find out on Spark. I don't know yet. <laughs> All right, guys, I, I got so much going on in my head trying to figure out Walmart Spark that I completely forgot to uh, put the camera on when I brought the stuff up to the door but um, they didn't put everything in a bag like they left all of her produce out of a bag so I'm just setting it on a bench in front of the door and there was two bottles of water that weren't in the bag Kevin, I don't get message. it but I still got it on and it's still shooting me offers even though I'm quite a ways out of town but um, so far I like it. All right guys, it keeps throwing it at me. So I took this $27.20. It's to shop for nine items, 20 quantity it says. So we'll go do this. It'll probably be the last one of the day, but I think every order I took today was like right at $20 or more. This will be the third one. So two shopping, one pickup. I think the pickup one was 19 and some change. The first one was like 23 and this one is 27. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, none of these look very good. <laughs> All right, we need eight bananas. All right, we got the bananas. Now we're moving on to chicken. Section 25, modular one. Got the chicken. All right, A18. We got to get the Sun Belt section 15. Modular one. So section 15, modular one. Is that these? Peanut butter chocolate chip, must be these. Okay, that's pretty cool. We need two of those. Confirm.
Here we got ILG 11 section four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then it's gonna be modular 66. Which is back here. 66, okay, sweet vanilla silk. All right, we need four. Two, three, four. Man, this is so nice. I am starting to figure it out. Okay, so am I done? Thanks for shopping. Yep. All right. And then, well, you just bring up other stuff, right? Because that stuff wasn't paid, that. Because I scanned the QR code. Yep. Because you did the other stuff, the stuff that you had in the cart that. This was all her stuff. So, so you re-rung it up then. Is oh. that what you did? Yeah, yes. you didn't have to do that. So can we cancel yep. that? I'm sorry. No, nope, that's okay. I'm so used to doing Instacart orders where I got to scan everything. Oh, yeah. I, nope. I forget. You're good you to just, go. Okay, thank yep. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Duh. I was like, why did you speak? Yeah, I thought maybe it was your order. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh, thank you. Perfect. I appreciate your help. This is my first day doing Spark, oh. so. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave it in the video. You guys saw the struggle there. I made a huge rookie mistake. First day with Spark, but I scanned the QR code. She came over, did a cart check, and then I started scanning the items. Don't have to do that on Spark. When you go shopping, you scan the QR code. If you get called for a cart check, you get your cart check, you just start bagging the items and you go. It was fine, it didn't take any longer. She just came over and took it off, so we're good. <laughs> but, this is going to be my last delivery because it is 11 after 10 o'clock. I want to get home and, and do this video before my W2 this afternoon. But first day with Spark, we've done three of them. Two shopping, one pickup order, and I think I had two DoorDash orders. So we'll go over some numbers after we get this dropped off. And we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Right, Kelsey household I appreciate your business enjoy your Walmart items and you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much all right everyone this is the road going down into Douglas Lodge it's a very very historic place I believe it's over a hundred years old now and it's still functional there's a restaurant in there there's hotel rooms in the top and we're gonna be down here in just a second all right the building straight in front of me that is Douglas Lodge there's a bunch of cabins down this road here. Some of them are year-round. But this right here is Douglas Lodge. And I'll get out and we'll walk up there. This building straight in front of me is the oldest building on the property. And that used to be hotel rooms. You can see all the doors in the bottom and the top. It's the same on the other side. That building is abandoned right now, but they're trying to figure out what they want to do. And then the building behind it is 
what we call the dormitory. So some of our seasonal workers that come here, they come from all over the states and there's rooms there for them to stay in. I think they get them for, I think it's like $100 a month or something. But this is historic Douglas Lodge. So yeah, 1905 and it's on the National Register of Historic Places. This place is still functioning. These windows right in front of me are windows that go into the restaurant. All the tables and stuff are taken down in the winter. They redo, they clean the carpets and all that stuff. And then going in here, there's a stairwell that goes upstairs to the hotel room. And then there's a big setting area over off to my left that people can have a big fire. There's a big stone fireplace in there, couches, chairs. And now we'll come over here and I'll show you guys a little bit more of Itasca Lake. And there is beautiful Itasca Lake. So down the hill here, you can't really see it, but there's like an old riverboat style boat. It's really big. It can hold like 120 people. They do tours every day on Itasca Lake. And it goes, they go down to the headwaters of the Mississippi and they kind of tour the lake. There's three or four islands on this lake. They go around the islands. There's a fishing pier out there in front of me, but beautiful place to work. Beautiful place to work. All right, guys, time for me to head home. Hope you enjoyed the uh, little tour of Itasca here. There's more that I'll get this summer. There's a fire tower that I can climb and show you guys some scenic views from above. We can go around Wilderness Drive and get some really beautiful scenery there. Um, there's a couple of other places in the park that are really historic and beautiful. But for now, we're kind of limited because they have a lot of the roads closed down for winter. So we're going to call it good till this summer. All right, well, we got the spark order dropped off for the Kelsey family. Couldn't have worked out any better because we are on the south end of town. We are going to take a couple little back streets to head home. Go home now, get this uh, video edited. I'm going to try to sneak in a little bit more footage of Itasca State Park. But I'm going to go over some quick numbers. So we did two orders on um, DoorDash. And that was for a grand total of $14.19. But two decent orders. I mean, averaged over seven bucks per order. If we get those unconfirmed tips, that'll be $78 on Spark and $14 on DoorDash for a grand total of $92 and some change. $92 and some change in two hours, a little over two hours. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 92 hours in a little over, excuse me, $92 in a little over two hours. That's crazy, you guys. Well, listen, thank you for riding along with me. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, watching, sharing, and liking all the videos and the channel. You guys have been awesome. I'm, I'm stoked, man. I'm ready. We're, we might change this into a Spark channel. <laughs> I guess dashing dink could mean anything. It doesn't necessarily mean DoorDash. I'm just dashing your goods to your house. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. Please be safe. I hope you enjoyed your Valentine's. I'm going to go home and get this ready for you. Have a wonderful day. And just remember, this is Dashing Dink saying, until the next dash. <laughs>